this match is for the OVW TV Championship and the TV title belt on a pole match. The only way to win this match is when one of the wrestlers climbs the pole and the only way to win is by striking an opponent with the TV title belt. Introducing first, the challenger, the party starter, Bud Dwight. The party has started here in OBW Danny Davis Arena. As we're getting ready to get underway here in this title on a pole match. So much hatred, so much scorn. Bud Dwight has not been allowed to challenge for that TV title for 30 days. Well, 30 days is up and it's happening tonight. And his opponent, the current reigning and defending OVW TV champion, Shotgun Tony Gunn. The champion Tony Gunn, what after winning it from Bud Dwight, proclaimed himself the best wrestler here in OVW. But tonight, it's not just about wrestling. No, it's about climbing that, that hole and using that title belt up there high above the ring. Now, so many times over the last few weeks, we've seen the former friend of uh, Dwight actually assault Dwight with that TV title belt on several occasions. I've seen it happen at live events. We've seen it happen here at TV events here at the Davis Arena. We even saw it in the dressing room a few weeks ago. Tony Gunn actually knocked out Bud Dwight with that TV title belt. Dean Hill has said, you want to use that TV title belt? Let's put the title on the line while actually using the belt itself. And Dwight now. And here we go. Dwight with a takedown. Gunn. Starting out with the back suit play on Tony Gunn. Shoulder block, two shoulder blocks by Bud Dwight. And a Barry Windham style Lariat clothesline. Now you, now you talked about the history between Gunn and Bud there. Gunn striking Bud with that title belt. Well, what about what Gunn was doing? Oh! Dwight now trying to go for that title belt. Now it's not just about getting the belt, it's about striking the opponent. Tony Gunn's not gonna let that happen. What about what Bud was doing? Holding Gunn back. They almost had tag team gold together. Almost had it, but it didn't happen. Almost close only counts in horseshoes and? Hand grenades, certainly, sir, certainly. Thank you, Gorilla. As blocked, Tony Gunn tried to send Bud Dwight into the ring post, blocked on several occasions. These two have had so many scientific matches in the past. Ricky Steamboat versus Barry Windham-like matches. That's not like that anymore. It's hatred, it's venom, it's scorn. <laughs> It is anarchy. <laughs> We're gonna use that one a lot. And even using the hair, it's all legal. You can't be disqualified. Back elbow. And now, very venomous, very sadistic. Now very you think this has gotta favor the much taller, over six foot Bud Dwight to the clearly <laughs> shorter Tony Gunn. A few weeks ago, we wouldn't have had a closed fist. We wouldn't have had belt strikes and what a back body drop, but now friendships are gone. They're just like Columbus, they're history. And Bud White's signaling party time. Using that to the advantage. Tony Gunn sidestepping and Bud White almost climbing up to the pole to get the title belt. But that's just part of the equation. Getting the belt does not give one the title, it's striking the opponent. And with that belt. Bud Dwight now feeling that one man flapjack. And Tony Gunn, this is a man who's rolled with Moondog Spot. He's been on the road with so many greats in Memphis, Tennessee, all around the horn. He's another veteran. He's certainly, certainly a road warrior there. Both these men have had similar injuries Dwight over the top lands on his feet. And Tony Gunn sensing some space between them and knowing that he didn't have a chance of getting that title belt. And Bud Dwight once again saying it's oh. party time. That big boot to the face staggering gun. 
And Bud Dwight from the top. Using this to capitalize Dwight back up on that pole. Going for the pole, going for the belt, and Tony Gunn. Remember, if either man gets rolled up, there's no pinfall. There's no submission. You can't get disqualified. You can't get counted out. Look at the ring presence, though, by Gunn. I mean, every single time, every single time Bud goes for that pole, he knows exactly, exactly where he is. And Bud Dwight with the champion on his shoulder and a rake of the face. Hey, it's all legal here tonight. A legal rake of the face and a German suplex by Tony Gunn, who's holding on to the waist lock. Two German suplexes. Going for the trifecta. Hey, he gets Indeed, it. there's your hat trick right there. Bud Dwight not moving, and if Tony Gunn can get his bearings about him. Can Gunn capitalize? This is probably the biggest space Gunn has actually Look at this, made. look at this. Tony Gunn reached into his knee pad and pulled out handcuffs. Smart, smart by Tony Gunn. All legal, all legal in this match. No disqualifications. Well, I mean, for God's sakes, he's had a long journey to get that title, but has he got to go to the road of handcuffs? Does Tony Gunn need to resort to using handcuffs? In this, in this kind of environment, you have to do, it's dog eat dog, you have to do what you can, where you can, to survive. And Tony Gunn knows that. And it looks like the game plan of Tony Gunn will be to handcuff Bud Dwight, incapacitate Bud Dwight, to where Tony Gunn will be free to climb to the rope, climb the pole, and get the belt. But Bud Dwight realizes his strategy as well. And Bud Dwight's still fighting. Bud Dwight with the handcuff on his own wrist, is still fighting back. These two know love lost between them. They have gone weeks, and then, and Bud waiting 30 days, 30 days for this title championship. He can't get much bigger than this. And gets dropped with a big ending by Bud Dwight, but it's not the ending yet. Party time trying to wheel himself back into this match. Even if Bud White can hit his hangover finish, even if Bud White can hit his inebriation finish, it's still about, yes indeed, climbing up the pole. As Dwight is doing right now, so close, touching that TV championship. Oh! Tony Gunn from behind. Smart, the veteran gun. Crotching the challenger on the top turnbuckle. By any means necessary. Take him out. Can you imagine that these two were friends? These two actually were training buddies. These two actually traveled together. Dwight. And now the champion sending Bud Dwight into the pole, into the unforgiving ring pole that is holding his own TV title belt. Dwight looks out. What's Gunn planning to do here? Is he going for that belt or is he going for Dwight? The champion now up to the top rope, right below the TV title belt. Inches right below his champion. His face. Bud Dwight though, Bud Dwight. Super oh. hangover, super hangover off the ropes. Both men are down. Both men are down. Both men are down. Bud Dwight is moving. Bud Dwight looks like he's hurt, but Tony Gunn, Tony Gunn now barely moving. But that might just be nerve reaction. That might just be spasm. Both competitors are laying it out here, much to the light of these OBW fans. What a ruthless battle here. And Tony Gunn now. That dragon snap leg lock, leg whip. Whatever you want to call it, it's ruthless, it's painful. And now, handcuffing both the wrists behind Bud Dwight's back. And now how's Bud Dwight? Even if Bud Dwight can defend himself, which it doesn't look like, how, how would Bud Dwight be able to exactly. get that TV title belt? Exactly, smart by the champion. He and is using everything to his advantage. Like I said earlier, the New England Patriots. Use what you got, always win. At the very backwards patriotic action right here. Hey, they're champions. With his former friend. But Tony Gunn's former friend, the challenger Bud Dwight. 
<laughs> it's no handcuffed. Here. I don't see friends here. I just see two men throwing it all on the line and gun punishing Bud with those double boots to the face. Now, I don't even think if referee AJ Lucio, he's letting this match continue. I, I guess it would be up to the referee's discretion to stop this match, but there's still life in Bud White, even though he's handcuffed. And, look, and it looks like Gunn, it might be over here. Tony Gunn, Gunn. Inches away, he's got a hold of that belt. Well, there's part of the equation right there. The champion has his own title belt. Once he could use this title belt as an offensive move against the challenger, that's going to be it. The belt is down and Gunn smiling, sizing up his opponent. Now Bud Dwight ducks. Bud Dwight ducks underneath. This match is still going on. This match is still in progress. Gunn is definitely more serious after that. No, one. no, no. Bud Dwight ducks again. Tony Gunn has that title belt. But he is not with the handcuff, Bud Dwight, by the hair. And remember, in order saying to win. Saying it's my title. And remember, in order to win, he has to be struck with that title. Bud Dwight saying, hit me. Bud Dwight headbutting the champion in the face. The fight left in this man. And ducks underneath again. Handcuff behind his back and Good Lord, can that, Bud Dwight do it? That boot rattled around the arena there. What a large boot. Bud Dwight still, the challenger still handcuffed, may have knocked the champion out. And the referee, does he have keys? AJ Lucio helping out Bud Dwight here, trying to even up this match, as it is say. Good Lord, the challenger just headbutted right in the face. And now the hands are free and clear. And now both these men have the title belt. It's become a tug of war out here. And these two men, look at the look. They're making eye contact. These are not, you can tell, these are no longer friends anymore right here. These are bitter enemies, rivals if you will. Pure hatred, the challenger has that belt, but Tony Gunn, Tony Gunn, shoulder block and the challenger, the belt is laying on the mat. What a fight we're seeing here. Yeah, you're right. This is not a wrestling match. This is a slobber knocker. And a wicked clothesline by the champion on Bud Dwight. Gun now with belt in hand. Holding it high above his head. Shotgun Tony Gunn measuring the challenger with his title belt. Tony Gunn is looking to make an imprint. Oh! And there's that Harley Race style knee. <laughs> Ouch! Tony Gunn is laying prone. Bud Dwight has the belt. All he's got to do is use that belt as an offensive strike. He's calling for Gunn to get up to take his message. And now Tony Gunn, look at that. Tony Gunn pulled the referee in front of him in a low blow. Tony Gunn with the low blow right in front of the referee, but it's legal. It's All legal, legal, damn it. All legal here tonight at Anarchy. And oh. there it is, oh good God. The winner of this match and still OVW TV champion, Shotgun Tony Gunn. You know, Ron, the true winner of this match right here is the OVW fans because that was not the battle, that was not just a wrestling match, that was a war. That was a sick, sadistic, viciously vile fight. And just like, just like Tony Gunn has said, he came out the better man. He said he was gonna go in the better man, said, and then he did just that. And Tony Gunn hasn't had enough yet. Bud Dwight, who's been knocked out with that title belt. Come on. Tony enough is Gunn. enough right here. Still handcuffed. No, now both wrists handcuffed again. Come on now. Gun has gone crazy out here. What the hell's going on here? Good Lord, the referee AJ Lucio is trying to stop this, but Bud Dwight is still handcuffed. Come Gunn, on, we have still Gunn a successful title a defense. What's Gun gonna do here? 
He's got that belt lying on the floor. Oh, no, DDT. my God, Lord. DDT to the face. That face driven straight into the metal. Well, that his, is the TV title. While his wrists were handcuffed behind his wrists. Gun proudly holding that belt up. He is still your current OVW TV champion.